I was at that election count last night. It was pretty nail-biting head-to-head -head there between Lib Dems and Labour. But Lib Dems did cinch that seat. They've got a majority of two over Labour. As you've mentioned, it was from 2011 that Labour have been in power here. And Hull is a traditional red wall seat. You would have thought that they would be making hay in these local elections over the other parties. You've mentioned party gate, resentment towards the Conservatives, but it wasn't the case. I spoke to the Lib Dem leader, Councillor Mike Ross, about his win last night, and this is what he had to say. First of all, what I really want to just say is thank you to the residents of Hull who have put their faith and trust in the Liberal Democrat Party tonight. Uh, it's a tremendous responsibility that we now have to, to actually work in their interests, and that's exactly what the Liberal Democrat team will be setting out to do. There's a big job ahead, but I'm confident that the team that I lead that we can deliver for Hull. Well, I think on you know, doorstep after doorstep, the residents of Hull have said to us that they are actually fundamentally fed up of having a ten, over 10 years now of a Labour Council they see is refusing to listen to what they want to see happen. And so there's been a lot of local factors that have influenced the results here today. And you see the results with one was right across the city in this election, gained seats right across the city. And that's good news, of course, for us. Undoubtedly, there are national issues to play. I think this uh, result here shows that the public of Hull uh, feel let down by a Labour Council, but also let down by the Conservative government. And in sending a message to both, by voting for the Liberal Democrats to get the change that they want. And that's on the agenda, of course. You know, we'll get ourselves ready to go and get the team set up in, in, in all the, the key uh, positions. But what they need to be getting on with, what we need to be getting on collectively, is actually working hard for residents of Hull and putting their priorities first. So a great victory for the Lib Dems here in Hull. But with that small majority, they will have to deliver some real tangible results over the next year to show the voters what they voted for and that they will be putting their plans into action to make a difference across the city.